so this is the project ppt we are using so this is the modified title okay so we are not taking same exact paper we are going to modify this project as per the proposed system we are introducing some innovative ideas here to overcome the drawback which is present in the paper okay we are going to overcome the drawbacks which is present in the paper to give the new idea so this is the project modified title novel method for blood cancer detection using super pixel and faster rcnn algorithm okay so we are going to use the insta faster rcnm and can give lstm cnn uh, instead of uh, faster uh, rcnm we can use lstm cnn descriptive algorithm details so this is the title in abstract i mentioned that we are going to use 3d segmentation process here what's the main process of 3d segmentation means if you are using ultrasound images means those images are not clearly visible that is the main drawback okay if you are uploading the ultrasound images means it having huge noise to overcome this we are applying 3d segmentation which will process the image into 3d that then it will convert the tumor structure into 3d that is the main advantage here then we are going to use gaber filter for feature extraction as well as we are going to use cnn lstm lstm cnn for classification of the tumor type whether stage 1 stage 2 like that we have to identify so for that we are going to use conversion neural network and long short time memory those algorithm we are combiningly using to make the hybrid network here so in introduction we are giving that uh, breast cancer was a major cause for the women's death okay so nearly uh, 30% of old wide women population affected by the breast cancer but they are considered they will consider that as a normal tumor but you have developing this type of system means they can capture the photon they can upload whether they can check whether that is a normal tumor or breast tumor like that they can check that is a major advantage here we are taken some uh, literature surveys also for this project we are taken literature surveys also various literature surveys so segmentation algorithm existing segmentation algorithm is normally using the 2d segmentation process but we are here using 3d super pixel segmentation for efficient noise cancellation and 3d processing so overall existing system in overall existing system they are using normal neural network to detect the blood cancer process also they are using 2d lesion classification lesion classification means the tumor classification okay but very that is very basic you don't you will get false detection happen what's the meaning of false detection means they will give us the uh, binning for the malignant cancer or malignant for the binning cancer irregular results may happen okay why because it having very low accuracy okay cannot operate image with the less amount of contrast if you are uploading ultrasound images means if that image is having less contrast means uh, very light images means it won't process that's the main drawback of the existing system to overcome this we are going to apply proposed system which is not available in the paper we are going to use proposed system here what is the main proposed solution means we are going to use convolutional neural network and long short time memory combiningly we are using as a hybrid algorithm which will used for the training as well as testing purpose it will give better feature extraction result as well as better accuracy results the overall block time of the project was shown here so this is the data collection process you have to collect various breast cancer types stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 like that you have to collect then you have to build the front end part in back end machine learning part you have to use the hybrid model lstm cnn model then you have to give the particular images it will sell, extract the feature from that from the extraction result it will give the uh, how much risk you are having then visualization result these are the block diagram of the project to implement this we are going to use Python, you can use 3.10 or 3.9 any version. So minimum you need 4 GB of RAM, 500 GB of hard disk. Okay, basic system i3 is enough to run this project. Major advantage of project was early detection. You can detect stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four like that. So it's possible to detect at the earlier stage for better curation. Okay, that's the main advantage here. As well as you can use any type of images. CNN LSTM will give better results when compared to the other uh, algorithms. Main drawback was costly implementation why is costly implementation i mean that we are using lstm and cnn now so that's why costly implementation okay you can use any type of images here so models means data set collection data set data preparation model selection analysis and prediction accuracy and saving the train model those are the models we are going to use 
we are given model description also for this project model description also given we can check that so in overall conclusion so the model description and all after purchasing you can see that so overall conclusion of the project was uh, so we have to investigate whether the tumor was normal tumor or pre, uh, breast cancer tumor the proposed system having better accuracy when compared to the other results which is a most powerful tool which is implemented currently so reference also given for this project everything available here for this project reports are also available so without wasting much further time i'm going to run this project for you the project implementation shown here so this is the project data set we have taken four stages stage 0 1 2 3 4 four five stages we have taken so in stage 0 so this is normal there is no tumor this is the ultrasound images this is the ultrasound images of your blood uh, breast okay so there is no tumor stage 0 means stage 1 means beginning type so this is the brain tumors so you can use normal breast images also even ultrasound images are normal breast images you can use anything here it will work perfectly okay same vice versa stage 2 we are given stage 2 this is the malignant type so this is the ultrasound images which i mentioned earlier you can use any sort of images normal images or any sort of images you can use here okay this is the stage 3 part stage 3 of the breast cancer part okay so now I am going to use, I am going to run the project, so run this project, I am going to use, this is the uh, training algorithm, this is the testing classification, this is the, uh, uh, what uh, I have to say, this is the segmentation part, this is the main algorithm I am going to run. To run the main algorithm, I am going to copy the project location, then I have to open the Anaconda Navigator, from that I am going to open the project terminal, so I should use CD space project location enter i'm going to run python app.py so i'm going to type python space app.py this is the code i'm going to run let's type this So after project compilation, uh, compilation, this is the project website. Just copy this website and paste it on the, any browser. So this is the project home page. So abstract given. You have to use login here. After login, I have to use admin, admin as a username and password. Just go use admin and admin as a username and password. Just to go to the segmentation part. Just upload the breast cancer images. I'm just using some images here. You can use any set of images. I'm just using these images. So just give five cluster uh, type. Just to submit. So you can see the segmentation process was proceeding here. The segmentation was started to proceed. So we should wait for the segmentation to complete. So overall it will take 10 steps. Okay. So after 10 steps, it will go for the next pages. So this is the next page. You can see this is the original image you have uploaded. This is the segmented images. You can go to the next step. In the next step, you can upload the same images. I'm just uploading the same breast images here. Just check for the cancer. It will check whether the image having cancer or not. See that the image which you uploaded having stage one type of cancer, the disease only having ducts. Okay, it's not spread still, but the tumor have been formed. Okay, so this is the stage one. Stage one means bending. Okay, it won't spread, but it's a tumor. I'm just uploading one more images here. So to, to detect the one more images, I'm going to back. So I'm going to upload the image again. So I'm going to check with another images. Just upload this. Just I'm giving the same pie cluster. Just to submit. Same. You can see the 10 uh, iteration have to complete. I'm waiting for my 10 iteration to complete.
after 10 iteration it will go for the next page automatically so the next page came so you can see this is the image you have uploaded this is the segmented result go for the next page so you can upload the same image here so this is the image i uploaded i can check for the cancer So this is the stage one. See, in this image is also stage one. This is a non-invasive cancer. You can choose another image. I am just giving this image to check. I am just taking this image. Just upload. You can check for the results. You can check any image from internet or even your own images. You can check everything. So the result already obtained. So the image which I uploaded was stage 3. The tumor have been found on the breast. But the cancer cell already spread to the one third part of your breast. As well as the tumor size will be around 2 to 5 centimeter already. Okay. This is the stage 3 result. I am uploading one more results here. One more images for your checking. You can check any images as I mentioned earlier. There is no need to give only images present in the data set. So this is the result zero. There is no chance of breast cancer. You are healthy. So there is no tumor already. So I'm going to check with another images. So just choosing one more images to check. So this is also stage three. Okay. So like this vice versa, you can check every results here. Okay. This is the thing you can check for breast cancer then go to the analysis part in analysis you can find the overall accuracy of the project so in this project you are getting accuracy around training accuracy around 98 percentage which is very much best compared to the current systems as well as your training testing accuracy will be 97 so you are getting 98 to 97 percentage accuracy while testing and training so this is the major features cost for the breast cancer so due to your age uh, your systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, then your genetic, you are getting this type of blood, uh, breast uh, cancer. Okay. Uh, to get this project, please approach our website iwexpert.com. Okay. You can contact us for any type of help during your project. Okay. We do provide complete project at best price. Okay. To get uh, to know about more projects or innovative concepts, please subscribe our YouTube channel. We do give the more projects in current times okay thank you thank you for reviewing this video hello everyone welcome to iwexpert.com so we are providing machine learning and deep learning projects at low cost okay today we are going to see project about most demanding project in deep learning technologies the project named as a breast cancer detection breast cancer diagnosis so this is the project title which we are going to discuss today. This is a IEEE transaction paper which is published on 2023. You can see the dates also. It's a 2023 recent paper. This is the project we are going to discuss today. So this is the project breast cancer detection. But uh, you have to know that breast cancer detection means usually using uh, everyone using different images. Okay, but this project using ultrasound images. Why we are using ultrasound images means ultrasound images easy to produce okay it's very easy to produce instead of that ct image mri image when compared to those images ultrasound images can be easily reproduced for each and every uh, persons so for that pers uh, perceptive only we are using ultrasound images here which is for uh, available for low cost also so this is the uh, this is the project we are going to discuss today first of all you may know about the breast cancer so why we are giving importance to the breast cancer means so breast cancer was nowadays very common due to our lifestyle, the pregnancy details and everything. The breast cancer was very common nowadays. But the severity ratio, what is the meaning of severity ratio means? So out of 10 patients, out of 10 percent who are affecting breast cancer, nearly nine, 8 or 9 percent will be died. Okay. It's very hard to cure. Why? Because it's very hard to cure. So that is the main drawback of the breast cancer. The remaining cancer, most of the remaining cancer can be can be curable compared to the breast cancer. But breast cancer was 
very much uncurable okay so that is the main drawback so there is two type of tumor so while you are going by the tumor means there is two type of tumor one is benigne tumor another one malignant tumor so what is benigne means it is commonly uh, look like a tumor but it won't spread to the other part of the your breast so it may it was a tumor but it won't spread it will not spread to the other part of the blood or uh, breast but what's a malignant tumor means it will spread it's also the same tumor but it will spread it will spread to your even your blood uh, other body parts also that is the main drawback of malignant tumor so we are going to predict whether the tumor is malignant or malignant uh, like that malignant not okay also we are going to predict what type of severity you are having for example cvrt level 1 cvrt level 2 cvrt level 3 what type of what is your current cancer stage that also we are going to predict so this is the project based paper you can see so this is the algorithm they have used so directly i'm going to explain the project ppt for you so i'm going to open my project document so for this project report also available ppt also available i'll i'll show the project ppt so this is the project ppt